Good morning, investors and traders. In today's analysis, we'll be looking at crude oil, a different commodity which we haven't covered in a while. And we'll be really answering this particular question, which is that how high crude oil can really continue to move from here? Or the Brent oil, how high can it really continue to con uh, move from here? Of course, we have seen some substantial moves, but where is that limit? Before we do that, as always, it is important for me to go through this disclaimer, which is right in front of you. Now, I'm going to bring out the MT4 platform. So the question really for among investors and traders is that we have seen this massive, massive upward trend in oil prices. Remember, in 2020, oil prices around this time were under immense selling pressure. We were looking, we looked, we, we saw oil prices, crude oil prices dropping in negative territory, went all the way to minus 40. Of course, that was a once in a lifetime sort of a situation, not likely to happen ever again. But now we are looking at oil prices trading at $70. Of course, this is happening ahead of two important events. So what are those two important events? Those two important events are as follows. First of all, we have the US and Iran nuclear deal, which is currently taking place. And all eyes are on this nuclear deal. Traders believe that the, the the chances are that the nuclear deal will be enacted once again, just like how it was back during Obama administration time. And that means Iran will be pumping more oil on the market and that could result in oil prices moving lower because higher oil price means lower price, lower oil price. Now, on the other side, what we also need to pay attention to is we have the crude oil inventory data due today. When? That will be coming at 13.30 UK time. And if the data shows that we have a more drawdown, then possibility is that the prices will continue to move to the upside. We will probably challenge that 71 to 75 71.75 at dollar price level, or even potentially moving higher to all the way to $72. However, if we do see retracement, if we do see a number showing that there is no uh, uh, inventory, uh, you know, uh, inventory reduction, we actually see inventory fail, then we could potentially see the prices moving lower. Now, overall, when we look at the oil prices, one thing becomes very clear, and that is, well, actually two things. Number one is, of course, that the prices are trading in an upward trend. But the other thing which also becomes quite clear is that the price is trading well away from its 50-day simple moving average. The 50 is in pink, the 100 is in yellow, and the 200 is in green. So the, me, the fact that the price is trading quite far from is this particular price level confirms to us that the price is likely to see retracement. Now, of course, where that retracement is really going to come from, how far the price can really go, the price certainly has the ability to go all the way to towards these sort of price levels at 72.45 or previously back in 2018, we saw these price levels going all the way to 75 and then even going all the way to that $76 price level. So these are very, very realistic sort of a price levels that we could see in terms of oil prices in the coming day. If we look at the momentum on the weekly time frame, there is no doubt that we have a plenty of bullish momentum and the bull, bull, plenty of bullish crossovers as the 50 day simple moving average is crossing above the 100 day simple moving average. And this 150 week moving average is also likely to cross above the 50 week moving average. So the momentum overall on the weekly time frame is certainly very, very positive. And of course, on the daily time frame as well. But the concern really is that the price has entered into a territory on the RSI 
which is classified as overbought. We know that the last time it happened over here, we did see a retracement in oil prices when the prices went from 67 to 56. Now, a similar scenario is likely to be possible, is likely possible, but perhaps the price may actually jump today on the back of that inventory data. We may see the prices moving towards that $72 sort of a price level, which could be a good opportunity to looking for short. That's all for now. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next time.